it going there gamers? My name is Lucy and I'm back again to keep you up to speed with my top three things in the gaming world you may have missed over the past week, so let's get started. My number one of this week belongs to Pro Syndicate. You may have heard of him, he's pretty big news in gaming and streaming and YouTube. So Pro Syndicate has broken the Guinness World Record for the most watched video game launch live stream. So this was previously held uh, by Halo 5 and now Pro Syndicate has topped it with this beautiful game here Call of Duty Black Ops 3 for the live launch event there. I was a part of that so I could technically say I am a part of Guinness World Record history in a very loosely connected manner. <laughs> And numero dos, I bet you didn't know I could speak some Spanish there, um, is going to be Uncharted 4 multiplayer beta, of course. So that has finally gone live this week. Um, I, myself, do have access to it because I bought the Uncharted collection. I just yet have got to play it because I've been so busy. But um, yeah, I can't wait to get involved with this. I think it's going to be awesome to see just a little snippet into Uncharted 4, which is probably my most hyped game for next year so far. So... Yay, beta! And finally, my number three of this week goes to the Game Awards. This happened this week for the second time. Um, it is an annual event, but this was the only the second time that it happened. And as displayed in the name, it gave out various awards for loads of different categories. Without, you know, spoiling it too much, in case you want to go ahead and watch the live stream, well, not the live stream, but the actual recorded stream yourself, or you want to go and look up all the different categories, um, I'll just say that the overall game of the year you may have heard went to the witcher 3 very much so deserved there i couldn't think of a better game to get game of the year for 2015 so well done cd 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 project red uh, for getting game of the year for witcher 3 well well deserved um surprisingly though Splatoon got best shooter, which is kind of mind blowing to me. Just goes to show what original and fresh ideas can do. Um, and most anticipated game, of course, is No Man's Sky. So there are just three categories and three winners um, out of an absolute bunch. So go ahead and check that out if you haven't watched it already. That's it from me for this week, guys. So stick around and I will see you next time. Have a great weekend. Bye bye, gamers.